Welcome back, everyone. It is Sunday Sit Down Time. We got Lawrence Bowers in the house for Sunday Sit Down tonight. Lawrence, how you doing? It's been a few weeks since we've been able to catch up here. I'm great. I'm great, Natalie. Always a pleasure to sit down and talk to you. Um, there's a lot going on, obviously, in my world, NIL, mm -hmm. uh, Cam Bowers, and, and family travel, getting, really, getting ready for a really, really big trip. Uh, to go meet my in-laws across the waters. There you go. Sounds yeah. like a, you have a good summer ahead. I know it's almost the best time of year, too, because mm -hmm. Camp Bowers just around the corner is coming up in July, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, uh, it's one of the most exciting parts of the year for me and for my family and my wife. Uh, just, you know, to see all the hard work that we put in over the years kind of manifest itself. Um, you know, this year we're on, on pace to break last year's record. Actually, we already have, um, but it's looking like a 500-plus camper. Uh, type of summer, so we're we're very excited about that. To have that many kiddos running around, and, you know, teaching them and helping them with this game of basketball that obviously has meant so much in your life. What is that like for you and, and the people who get to work with you at this camp? It's it's the fulfilling factor that a lot of people don't necessarily get to feel. You know, a lot of times we're fulfilled by things that you know are material or things that we accomplish uh, for ourselves. But this right here, I always tell people, is God's work. You know, I used to be on the other side of this, you know, going to camps, um, not understanding how I was able to afford to go to camp and to be in a position now to where I provide a platform where you never know, one or two or three or maybe four of those athletes from my camp was going to go on to receive a scholarship, which would change the trajectory of their life. So for me, it's always uh, one of those oh my God moments when you see how many campers you have and know that you're doing something that you should be doing and that it'll pay off. Mm -hmm. Well, now at this point, you've been doing this camp for, for a little bit now. Do you mm -hmm. see some of these kids returning and you see yeah. some of the same ones coming back? How awesome is that to see? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, at one point, there was one kid that came to my camp for six straight years, mm -hmm. and uh, we're on year nine. You know, obviously, a lot of these kids, they age out, but um, it's always a... Um, uh, feel good as well when you know that you got returning campers because that means you're doing something right and uh, I, I put a lot into it my wife does a lot on the administrative side I have a ton of support in the community uh, my sponsorship levels uh, has grown immensely just like my camp uh, attendance so um, I think people see the benefit in it they know that my heart is in it it's a genuine thing that I'm doing for the community and uh, we look forward to it yeah, take me through, you know, when these campers arrive, they, they get a few days of camp with you. Take me through what, what these days of camp looks like for these kids. Well, so we basically break it down into three different groups. Uh, we have the baby ballers, which is, this is their third year. Uh, that's ages five to seven. Uh, we have the ages eight to 11, which is currently sold out. We have a wait list. And then we have ages 12 to 16. A normal day looks like, uh, I mean, it's a camp. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's a camp that is, that is filled with coaches who have the experience, who have uh, who are playing in a, in, at a level where a lot of these athletes aspire to be. You know, I have the entire men's basketball and women's basketball team from Mizzou, Columbia College, William Woods, uh, Central Missouri, I mean Central Methodist, I'm, I apologize. Mm -hmm. I have all of these young men and young women who are my coaches. So I think, uh, <clears throat> you know, I think that is itself, I think that's the selling point besides coming to hang out with old Coach Bowers. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, we look forward to it and... Um, you know, a typical day is just, just getting after it. We do a lot of fun things. We do a lot of drills. Uh, we, we have a lot of prizes, and we make it a great time. Well, yep. I, know, I know they're excited to see you when they get there, but how, are they, how excited are they to see, you know, all those athletes that, you know, I'm sure a lot of them have grown up watching? Yeah, yeah, no doubt. I think, uh, you know, I've heard from multiple kids who are returning, like, hey, man, is Kobe Brown going to be back? <laughs> you know, uh, they, they love being there, seeing the Mizzou guys and the Mizzou girls. And like I said, it's just one of those deals where you never know who's going to work, uh, who's going to be a coach at, at, at Camp Bowers. Mm -hmm. And I like the, to have that. Um, the unknown, but I think everybody comes in knowing that I'll, I'll put together a good staff and, and we plan on doing that for year in, year out. And what do you think it gives to, you know, the athletes that come not just from Mizzou, from Columbia College, like you mentioned, and other schools as well? What does it give those athletes, you know, teaching, teaching this game to young kids like that? I think for me, you know, everything I do, I hope it serves as an example of what could be done in mm -hmm. the future. Uh, you know, I, I would want nothing more than for a guy like Kobe Brown to come back and have his own camp, you know. I mean, I'm not worried about some of the kids leaving my camp going to his. I mean, you know, humbly speaking, we're at a point now where the blueprint is there, and I don't mind trying to bring somebody else up. And, you know, um, so when I do this type of stuff and I ask them to get involved, it's not just an avenue for me to pay them money or for them to work with their kids. I hope it serves as inspiration, to be honest. 
Well, how do you feel like over the years since you've been doing this from year one to now, how, how much you've mentioned it could, it's going to be a record breaking you, mm -hmm. year already is yes. a record breaking year for you. Yeah. How much has this camp grown? Uh, it has grown immensely. <laughs> I mean, I, I started this camp during the year I got married and that was in 2015. I think we had 105 kids. Mm -hmm. And as of right now, if I'm not mistaken, we're sitting at like 465. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that's not including some of our scholarship campers. Uh, this year we're bringing in uh, multiple kids from different nonprofits. Uh, this will be the first year we're including the Special Olympic athletes. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited about that. Um, so I, I definitely feel confident in saying we'll eclipse the 525 mark uh, probably in the next few weeks. I know you're focused on the camp that's coming up this summer, but you know, in your wildest dreams, where would you like to see Camp <laughs> Bowers go, grow, go and you know, keep growing? Um, you know, uh, the place that I have my camp, which is the Columbia Sports Field House out there by Tolton. It's a beautiful venue. Uh, it's four full courts. That's a tongue twister. Mouthful. <laughs> right. Um, but they're adding another four. So mm -hmm. that allows us more space. So if we ever want to continue to grow this thing, you know, I, I wouldn't mind seeing it reach up to 800 kids. I mean, the more the merrier, you know, and I say that from an impact standpoint. Mm -hmm. Well, I know there's still time to sign up. Yeah. You, you might, you're going to surpass, I'm sure, 500 yeah. kids, but tell the people how, how they can sign up and get involved. Well, the easiest way to do it is at www.lbosports.com. Uh, you go there, you hit the Camp Bowers tab, uh, click register now. The button is at the bottom of the screen. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, ages 8 to 11 is currently on a waiting list, uh, but baby ballers ages 5 to 7 is still open. We have a few slots. And uh, the advanced camp, ages 12 to 16, is still open with a very, with a very limited amount of spots. So we're expecting to sell out for for all three. Baby ballers has has to be a fun camp to watch. It's uh, <laughs> it's not kids. it's not. Believe it or not, when I first started that camp, I was very worried. Really? I thought I thought it was going to be more like herding cats, but it it actually went very very smooth, and that's a testament to my wife, Faven. Uh, she does a great job up at the at the top, making sure all of the kids, you know, when they have their little owies or whatever moments uh, that they're taken care of. And, and my coaching staff speaks for herself. You know, those guys and girls from Mizzou and Columbia College and the local colleges around here, they do an incredible job. So um, we're looking forward to that baby ballers camp, and that's one camp that I would like to see. Just you know, maybe I can hand this camp off to somebody when I can't do it at some point. Right. It's 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 a, it's a really cute. <laughs> it's it's really cute. That's all I can say. I like it. Well, you mentioned, you know, your wife obviously being so involved. How much has this become just a family affair for you uh, It's guys? definitely a family affair. Um, anything that I do when I put the name Bowers on it, I, I, it's not for me. You know, mm -hmm. I have two kids that I, you know, that, that are my why, and um, I want them to see what their dad's doing in the community. Like I said, with those athletes that work my camp, everything that I do, you know, I want it to be as an inspiration. Mm -hmm. So I want my son, Lyle, and I want my daughter, Fiori, to see, hey, my dad is doing stuff for other kids when he doesn't have to do it. So it's definitely a, a family affair. And like I said, I can't credit my wife enough. I mean, she is just the most amazing woman and worker. I mean, this is her business as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, the reason why we're succeeding is a big part of, of her. The kids getting involved in uh, basketball a lot. They, Absolutely, they, come they, on now. You, <laughs> you got that. You got Lawrence Bowers as your dad. You know, you you don't have a choice. My my daughter, she's uh, she just turned six. She's taller than a lot of ten year olds. So I'm working with her every week. And uh, once we get the coordination down, there we go. You know, Robin Pinson might be getting a getting a phone. Well, she'll be giving me a phone call. There you go. Yeah. There you go. We're looking forward to that. Well, Lawrence, thanks for all you do. Absolutely. For, for Columbia, it's a pleasure to have you on as usual. Thanks for making. Absolutely. Time. Anytime. Yeah. Thank you. For the rest of you guys, we'll be right back after the break.